I did a short video a few weeks ago about how uh, life looks like uh, in three different places in the age of Corona, how daily life looks like. Uh, back then I did for uh, Stockholm, which is for me, and uh, Japan and Australia. And now I'm going to do a short follow-up. Uh, so this time uh, there will be a, a little bit of an update uh, here in Sweden. And uh, I will have video footage from Spain and uh, from Malaysia. <laughs> My name is Hilvi. I was born in Stockholm, Sweden, and uh, now since five years live in Torre Vieja. It is a coastal town just south of Alicante, Spain. It's quite interesting to have roads in two different countries with such different measures um, regarding the corona crisis. Sweden is, as you may know, a very um, low restrictions, not many restrictions at all. Uh, and um, Spain has one of the toughest restrictions uh, during the quarantine. But today is a special day. Today is May 2nd. And for the first time, my age group is allowed to go out for a walk. They have uh, arranged for different time slots. Uh, so um, if you don't have children, or a dog to walk. Uh, we are allowed to go out for exercise or walks between six and 10 o'clock in the morning or between eight and 11 o'clock at night. Hi everyone, my name is Tham. I'm Vietnamese, but right now I'm working and living in Malaysia. This is my first time living abroad. It's quite nice in Malaysia, but uh, you know, the coronavirus is just spreading everywhere. So right now the number of cases in Malaysia is about 6,000 people got positive, but uh, the new cases just around 100 or less than 100 per day. So I feel it's so good because everyone here just taking this crisis seriously and uh, the government is also trying to curb the spread of coronavirus. Um, yeah, it's okay for me uh, during the quarantine time because I have to do my work. And sometimes when I feel bored, I just doing something like this. Enjoy um, 3 days. Right, so uh, it's quite okay. But somehow I also feel bored because I cannot have any normal activities as usual like go out for a walk or just practice my swimming because I love swimming a lot so current update for Sweden uh, we have about 3,000 dead people so far which is really sad, of course. The last two weeks, the curves are going in the right direction. So hopefully they continue in that direction. There's still like a feeling of uh, th that the future is on hold and you can't plan anything because you don't know how anything's gonna be next week or two months or anything. And uh, that's really depressing. How are you? <laughs> so, in lockdown in Spain. <laughs> so, so this is my neighbor. We're talking over the balcony. <laughs> this has been my view for the last 50 days of quarantine. Well, it's been the same view for more than 50 days, but it's been my only view for 50 days. But I'm lucky enough to have a big terrace where I can go outside for a bit. 
I work in a real estate agency um, that is catering to buyers uh, in Europe. Um, and since nobody can come to Spain to look at properties now, um, the market is very, very slow. In the beginning, I was working from home, but from April 1st, I'm on ERTE. ERTE is the Spanish uh, unemployment salary that we get during the crisis because it's a temporary uh, suspension. I've been working from home for six weeks and I have to stay home another two weeks. It's hard sometimes because I have to deal with my daily meal and also the network. As you can see here is my working space where I can stick all the notes I want. Um, here, the, this one is very important because I have to get a call with my team every day. Also, I can have a fresh view over there. So, this evening I'm gonna try to do some sand meditation. Uh, I'm gonna watch a YouTube video made by a sand Buddhist uh, temple in Kyoto. So, let's see how that is. Spain has been in lockdown since March 14th. But I a bit earlier because we were wanted to prevent people from Madrid to come uh, to Torrevieja uh, to their second homes. So the shops has been have been closed ever since, and today is the first time that some uh, shops are actually allowed to open again and some services like the hairdresser and take away food that is only by appointment pre pre appointment so this is one of the restaurants that's open uh, for takeaway only so this is my pharmacy uh, they won't let anybody in uh, without ringing the bell and they only let one or two people in at the same time This pier is very popular for walking. It's just by the one of the marinas in Porrieta, and they actually painted the road for what direction to go into. So going out on the right side and coming into the um, mainland, left side. So this is the promenade. Quite a lot of people here. Most listen to keep their distance. You are allowed to go out for a walk if you live under the same roof. Otherwise you have to keep the safety distance of two meters. Oh, I'm long for this. A few weeks ago I wasn't allowed to go out for no reason. When I need to get food or something at the supermarket, I have to practice social distancing. I think it's quite good and uh, it's very crucial to uh, check the temperature and wash my hands carefully before going in any places here. But this week, the government allows all uh, restaurants to open again and we can go and eat inside. However, we have to register our personal information like our name, our uh, house address, um, what else? Phone numbers, yeah, for the future contact tracing. Here, in the very noisy and busy city, right now, it's no one. I'm 
I'm going to send my old housemates some cookies that I made yesterday. Ding ding! It's very delicious, and I hope they will like it. Since I've been cooking for 50 days and I'm very sick of it, I decided to treat myself tonight and order burger and fries. What I can do, because I can't go out, so I have to practice my workout in my room. But it's okay, everything will be alright after all. Stay strong, be positive, be healthy. Bye.